I was a med student and neurosurgery was the first rotation. And I went into the room and they said, uh, you're the med student? I said, yes, it's my first day, so I have no clue what I'm doing. They said, well, go wash your hands. And I washed my hands and I was scrubbing them. They probably were bleeding because I didn't, no one had taught me how to do it. And then I walked in the room and they said, put your hands up. And I put them up here and they put them down here. And they said, no, no, too high, too low. And they, you know, between here and here is a sterile area. And they said, oh, that's fine. And then the neurosurgeon came in and he said, you must be the med student. And I said, why is that? And he said, well, we're not starting for like another two hours. And I said, oh, great. And he said, do you really want to help me? And I said, sure. I need you to put your street clothes on. I need you to go get me 10 tubes of super glue. And I said, really? And he goes, I'm serious. So I ran up the street to the Acme hardware store, and I said, I need 10 tubes of super glue. And the lady said, for what? And I said, for brain surgery. And she said, oh, that's funny. She hits the guy at the register. And I took the super glue back. And 10 hours later, we had the... I, person who we were operating on, we had her head exposed ear to ear and the, the whole forehead had been taken off. She had been shot in the head a decade ago and she was leaking the spinal fluid out of her nose. And she'd had lots of surgeries and it didn't help. Apparently in Vietnam, in the war experience, they learned that superglue will stop fluids from leaking out of different parts of your body. And so he was way ahead of his time. I mean, this is in the early 80s. And he was videotaping the surgery and he, at about 10 hours into the case, under the microscope, operating microscope, he said, okay, and now we will put some tissue adherent material uh, over the defect from the bullet uh, on the perpendicular plate of the cribriform bone with a little temporalis fashion. He stepped off the dictating thing, he said, give me the super glue. And he squirts it in, and I was like, couldn't believe it. And, and then he put the muscle on it, we put the brain back into place where it was over the skull base, put the forehead back on, put it all back together, put the covering to the skin, underneath the skin back up, and then close the skin. And I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And the lady did just perfectly well. And to that, to this day, people still use super glue. They now figure out how to way to make it sterile and to use it, but it's based on that. And uh, back then, uh, he explained to me that infection couldn't set up on it because her nose and the world had been in communication for decades, and there was not a, a risk of that. And she did fine. But I was like, this is the coolest job ever. And so that was my introduction to neurosurgery.